Adam, you there? Can you hear us? I am. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, we got him. We got him, mister. We ain't going to keep you that long. Man, what's up with uh, y'all? Kevin, Coach Kevin O'Connell, he no victory Monday that don't exist? What's going on? They don't exist around here. <laughs> I tell you what, I mean, this, uh, been, uh, it's been great. Obviously, a new staff and a new culture, but but they like their time. Uh, we're, we're in this building a lot more than I, uh, I've ever been around uh, in a building, but uh, it's all good. Hey, well, I want to say thank you for joining us. I know how it is, man. Once you get done with Monday, you want to get, get your work in and get your ass home and kind of chill, so we're not going to keep you long. Let me ask you this. I played under Mike Zimmer. I played under Zim. Um, what are some differences that you enjoy from O'Connell to Zimmer? Because Zimmer, he, he don't play, bro. It's just always about business. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, one thing, though, I will say about Zim, you know, you can respect his, his honesty. You know, he was going to be straightforward. He was going to tell you how it is, how he feels, uh, and he wasn't going to sugarcoat it. But, uh, but, yeah, I think the biggest difference is just the – the culture of the entire building, you know, the people that um, Coach O'Connell's put around him. You know, it's not just one person um, being a leader. It's multiple people being leaders from the top down. Um, and I just feel like that's been the biggest difference maker in, in the culture that's being created here is there's just a lot of people that want to be collaborative and, and having the right type of culture that's going to help you kind of handle adversity. Adam, man, uh, first of all, I want to just say congrats on all your success, man. I remember playing against you, you know, it was later in my career and, you know, you were just getting your feet wet. So you must have towed his ass up. That's what that's, that's, that's out. out. <laughs> okay. No. But I, <laughs> I, I, I just want to say congratulations on your grind, bro. Um, and then let, let's just take us into, like, what it was like to lose Steph. Because I know the bond that you guys had built. And, I mean, you know, you was fortunate and blessed to get Justin after that. And, you know, I look at you as like a leader, bro. Like you just go about your business. Uh, you know, you just do things the right way. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, it's tough to lose a teammate, especially someone you're so close with and has such a great relationship with. Um, we kind of knew what each other was going to say or do before it even happened. We just spent so much time together and had so much respect for one another and, and honestly fed off one another. Uh, so when, when that happened, you know, I, I kind of was expecting that to happen. I knew he... He wanted to get out of here and, and get a different opportunity, which um, you know, I'm so happy for him, all the success he's having. Um, but but I wasn't sure what to expect. You know, it's like, man, you lose a guy with that much talent and you're kind of like, uh oh, this could be interesting going in the next year. And uh, what kind what defenses are going to do? And then, you know, we pick up a guy like Justin. And, and from the day he was in here, I was like, oh, boy, this guy's going to be a difference maker. And, and uh, you could just see the potential and. And for him to just start so fast in his career as a rookie was something I had never seen before. Um, so uh, it's definitely, definitely very blessed to have those guys around me. And, and the cool thing about both of those guys is what kind of teammates they are and what kind of people they are and, and have uh, such a great respect and, and relationship with both of them. So uh, very fortunate there. It was a few years back, me and Ryan Clark were talking and we we're like, Adam Thielen is a top five receiver in the league and he not getting his credit. And so we had that discussion. When you look at receiving cores in the league, you look at the Bengals, the Dolphins, the Bills, the Bucks, the Vikings, where do you believe you and Justin stand on the upper echelons of receiving cores in the league? I mean, we both have a lot of confidence, and I just feel like, uh, I just feel like we're the best. Um, I just feel like we can do everything. Um, I feel like we haven't even played up to uh, what we're capable of capable of, you know, just with new system, new offense, um, just trying to figure that all out and, and just get on the same page there. But I just feel like, you know, when we're at our best and, and uh, we're rolling, I just feel like no one can mess with us. But um, but I think that's the mindset that we take every single day and, and uh, every single day of practice. Um, we want to be great. And we know that we've got a lot of work to do. Um, I'll be the first one to admit that I just feel like I could be a lot better. Um, uh, but, but, uh, on the, how are the you feeling? Day, I know you hurt your knee yesterday. How, how's your knee? It's good. It's good. You know, it's, it's one of those things where each week you're just kind of a little banged up and you just try to find a way to, to get as close to hundred percent on Sunday as possible. But, uh, like I said, we got a lot of confidence and, and feel like TJ on here it. asking you about, about your injuries. Like you're going to share them shits with him. Like just make, <laughs> you want to make sure the guy's all right, man. Oh. You know, you Listen to this guy. Just tell him to worry about how you tow his ass up when he didn't. He didn't. He was Actually, late in his he did career. not tear me up at all. 
Like, what are you talking Look, about? Hey, and by the way, Adam, Don't you, I picked the Minnesota Vikings to win man, the division every before year the season you get started. On there and you say you picked Did shit. I not? The season ain't over. You jinxing them. No, no I'm Bro, not keep jinxing them. Hey, and keep I bring this thing. up to say, how much satisfaction does it bring you to see that the Packers are getting their ass whooped? <laughs> well, you know me. I've been I've been a lifelong uh, Minnesotan and uh, Minnesota Vikings fan, so uh, uh, it always feels good not not only to beat the Packers, but uh, to see them to see them losing. But I know if I know anything about the Packers and and Aaron, uh, they're gonna find a way to turn it around. And, and listen, uh, TJ gotta, thinks they're no. dead in the water. The season's they over. They're done. The Packers are done. They got no receivers. You go over there and you get two thousand yards in nine games. I, I I promise you that they are not done because I just know how they work over there. They'll, they'll find a way. Bro, and and you, Rogers ain't letting that been, happen. You ever been to a barbecue? You, you know you got them uncles that just talk to hear themselves talk. That's him. Hey, <laughs> that's this guy. Hey, last year before the season started, he don't give a. F he got to go back. You done? I picked. The Super Bowl winner care, two bro. years in a row before the season. I picked the Vikings to win the division. Adam, they we, haven't won a division yet. They're gonna win the division. Uh, like, like, okay, they're get his gonna, phone number and text him. Congrats no, on no, the no. And tell them, let them ride. Hey, they're gonna. <laughs> this is what I. This is what I deal with on a weekly basis. Hey, um, incompetence. <laughs> you gotta keep but it it's humble. okay. Listen, incompetence. Yes, incompetence. <laughs> I won't, I'm not going to stand for too many more of your <laughs> insults. Hey, Adam, man, we appreciate your time, man. I know uh, you got to take care of your body. Thank you. Wish you nothing but luck and health the rest of this season, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, Appreciate your Adam. time. Go ahead and win this division so you can make me look good and make you feel better. But when he's right, yes, sir. he's right. When he's wrong, he was mistaken. I said it. The Vikings <laughs> are winning the division. They making me look good. Adam, appreciate you, man. Thank you for I your time, I appreciate you, bro. guys. Take care, guys. Right. I appreciate you.